how to create evil. First, make a cube. Subdivide that cube four times. That feels right. Go into edit mode, face select, hit G. Yeah, move, move those faces around. We're sculpting. We're not using plasticine, we're using vertices. And this subdivision modeling method is used by a lot of people. And for good reason too, because it's very intuitive. You edit the faces and the edges, but you get all these smooth results, which is kind of satisfying. Just going into edge select mode there, trying to fix the proportions a little bit. Sort his head out like that. Trying to create a bowling pin shape. Not many bowling pin shaped evil people in history. Uh, but there are a lot of evil people in history. Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. But if you guys have any evil people, uh, do comment below. Some of your favourite evil people. Be interested to hear who you guys perceive as evil. Be very interesting. Anyway, so his eyes, the eyes of evil, are made with UV spheres, it would seem. Uh, and then I'm going to make the beak now with a UV sphere. That's far too big, so we're going to scale that down, rotate it. Uh, so that's not right at all, is it? So we need to go into edit mode. I'm going to use proportional editing here. So I press that button there. And then what's happening now is as I move that vertices, there's a radial fall off that is going to affect the surrounding vertices. So it's kind of sculptural, even though you're not technically in sculpt mode in Blender. It's got a kind of sculpt quality to it as you're manipulating that vertices. I hope this makes sense. Uh, so I'm scaling that on the z-axis again. Just going to get a bit of water. I'm actually commentating over this. I'm not actually modelling while I, while I speak. So the... Beak's a bit of a weird shape. I'm going to tweak the beak. Keep tweaking. That's all it is. We're sculpting. So now, yeah, the proportions are way off. Should really be looking at reference here, but scale that in. Still way off, so I think, yeah, select all those faces, pull that up. There we go. Slowly getting there. Judge that in. Still not happy with the beak. Flatten the bottom out, maybe. But again, proportional editing, subdivision modeling. It's really useful for creating plasticine villains. So again, create a cube. We're going to create the arm now. So add a subdivision again. You guessed it. in the faces. I shouldn't really be in proportional edit in here. There's no need to actually have that selected. But I'm going to create an edge loop and have it kind of conform around the body. So it's like his arms resting on his side. I'm looking at this now, cringing and going. Should not have proportional editing turned on while I'm in 
this uh, edit mode. So now, pretty happy with his arm. Oh, want to tweak the beak again? Tweak that beak, baby. Tweak that beak. So, am I going to end up subdividing this? Oh, no. Yeah, it's a bit more cone-shaped, his beak, it would seem. Okay, shades move. Right-click to shades move. It's really useful. Okay, so now I'm going to create an empty. I'm going to use that empty as a mirror object. So I'm going to apply a mirror modifier to the arm. And then use the empty as the mirror object. And then it just, yeah, self-explanatory. So for the feet now, I'm going to create a cube again. It's all cubes, everything all the way down. Cubes. Move it into place. Evil has flippers, so let's make those flippers. So if I were to add an edge loop in the middle of this leg, it wouldn't be so great. And I know this is kind of destructive, what I do in a second. It's kind of not procedural after this point. But to get that kind of middle toe, I just apply the subdivision modifier and then I use proportional editing here to bring out that kind of middle flipper there you go and then you get that iconic kind of flipper shape scale that down a bit duplicate it rotate his leg out a bit Oh, I just go for the mirror modifier here, okay. So use that same empty that I use for the arms. And there you have it. We're kind of there. Gonna make his mouth much bigger in relation to his body now. Move the eyes, the beady little eyes of evil. Oh, I think I need to apply that for some reason. Okay, there we go. So let's get into texturing. It's gonna add a color ramp node. Set it to constant. I'm gonna add a separate XYZ node, punch it into the Y. But on the texture coordinate, I need to use generated for the vector. And then this will give us the tummy of evil. Excellent. He's not completely black, he is slightly gray. Give him some glossy eyes, take the roughness way down. Link the materials. Gonna create an orange beak. Give him some pinkish flippers. Add a light, quick area light, just to see how he's looking. Oh my God. I'm quaking in my boots. I was truly terrified of this guy when I was a kid. Just look out, look at the eyes. They knew what they were doing. So plasticine villains are made out of plasticine. So I'm going to add a fingerprint texture to the bump channel in this principal shader. I'm going to turn it way down. That's a bit too strong. So I'm going to give it like 0, 0.0. What am I going to do? 0 0.05. Just going to go into edit mode, unwrap, use smart UV project. 